The following is a fan-based parody. Avatar The Last Airbender and The Legend of Korra are all owned by Viacom, Nickelodeon, Brian Konitzko, and Michael Dante DiMartino. Please support the official release. Hey, Aang, it's so good to see you. Why, here on my whole take control of Omashu and install myself as king thing is going, it involves rock candy. I'm sure it's fine, Boomy. I'm not here for that right now in the early 2000s. Why are you saying it like that? That sounds oddly expository. You know, I don't have to take this. I've got a copy of Cheaper by the Dozen waiting for me at home. You don't deserve me. Nobody deserves me. I'm going to go hang out with Kuzan instead. He has a hot tub. But Aang, wait. My birthday's in a month. You're going to it, right? I don't have that many friends. And it'll mean a lot to me if you come. Yeah, sure. I'll be the first one there. Ah! Boomy, can we talk about this? You were the only one I invited, Aang. Do you know how hard it is to rent out a Chuck E. Cheese for two people? Uh, I'm guessing really hard. No, it was actually very easy. We have a very streamlined system, but that's not the point. Wow, how did we get into this wacky situation? Come over here, you little blowjob! What, you mean you don't remember Aang sneaking us into Omashu, setting a cabbage merchant's goods on fire multiple times, getting us into meeting the king who proceeded to challenge Aang with three trials along with the threat of killing us with these weird rock rings? And then it turns out that the king is Aang's old friend Boomy who is now trying to kill him because he didn't come to his birthday party like 100 years ago? Gee. When you say it like that, what? it actually sounds kind of silly. Look, Boomy, from my perspective, I'm just happy I didn't have to visit your grave. I'm sure you would have found a way to miss my funeral as well. This is it, Aang. Any last words? <laughs> I'm... I'm sorry, Boomy. I was frozen and missed your birthday. I'm a bad friend, and I deserve every punishment imaginable! You... You were frozen? That's why you missed my birthday? It wasn't just because I'm weird? Apology accepted! <laughs> 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 this is going to be my whole day, isn't it? I'm so glad we were able to work this out, Boomy. I feel so bad about what happened. It's all right, eh? Stick around. Maybe I can teach you some earth bending. Maybe go down a mail chute or two. That'd be pretty cool. I wanted to apologize sooner, but I was frozen in ice like two months after your birthday. When I missed it. On purpose. On purpose? Well, your birthday was on a Sunday. It would have taken me a day to get there. Totally would have ruined my weekend. But you totally knew that. I'm glad you're taking it so well, Boomy. Hey, Boomy, what's with your pet goat gorilla? I think he's snarling. <laughs> Maybe I should give him a belly rub. You know, running from that goat gorilla has done wonders for my glutes. And my nut collecting! Who wants to try my nuts? We can steam them, boil them, even try my nuts raw! I can't believe you talked me into this adventure, Sokka. I don't think there's anything I hate more than spending time with you. Besides exercise? Besides that. Momo! Quit trying to smash my nuts! Oh, god damn it! Sorry, Sokka, we'll have to try your nuts later. Why are you saying it like that, Aang? That's gross! You're gross! Oh, hey, it's an earthbender. <laughs> Haven't seen that in, like, three hours. <sighs> well, maybe we should leave him alone. If Katara talks to him, he might- Salutations, good sir! Would you like to try my brother's nuts? Damn it, Katara! This is why we're so bad at making friends. Well, excuse me, mister. I'm a bad friend, and penguin jokes make me sad. Oh my god, you are the worst roommate ever. You know, we should follow him home. That always works out. You're late again, Haru. Just know this. Besides your father, you are my greatest disappointment, son.
Love you too, Mom. Hey guys, I think you just went into that totally inconspicuous shop. Damn it. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. What? Just joking. Though I have killed people both directly and indirectly. Mom? We don't sell the colorful ethnics around here. Never have. We're not racist. You're racist. And I have a hat now. It looks great on you, buddy. This place looks like a fine, respectable establishment. Two colorful ethnics? God damn it, Haru! You got followed home again? Do you have any idea how this is gonna affect the purity of the nut trade? Nut trade? I know it was real! I'll tell you five of my nuts for five of yours! Haru, get the shovel. They're crazy, Mom. I mean, look at how they're dressed. You know, words hurt. I don't want your nuts anymore. I thought that getting this hat would help me make friends, but it's only making me feel even more alone. Yeah, gee. Thanks, dick. Now I'm totally telling people you're an earthbender. Wait. If they find out Haru's an earthbender, they might find out other things. We have to hide it. Hide it? Harold has a gift. Haru. Bless you. Asking him not to earthbend is like asking me not to waterbend. I thought you said you weren't a waterbender. Shots fired, Aang. High five. Despite my shitty roommates, I'm actually a pretty inspiring person. How about you let us and our giant flying beast of burden stay over at your place with free room and board? In thanks, I could inspire Humphrey. Haru. Inspire the boy with fun pop culture information, cynicism, and speeches about why hating the last Jedi should consume our lives. Listen, kids, I know you mean well, but according to a police report that I had absolutely nothing to do with, this is how we lost Haru's father. And according to my lawyer, I don't have to answer any of your questions. No, you misunderstand me. What I'm saying is, if you don't let us stay at your place tonight, there might not be a place to stay anymore. Damn it, I was being nice! Jeez, Katara, it's hard to imagine how anything bad happens to you. I just don't understand why this happened. What? You mean you don't remember letting me and the idiot stay at your place, bonding with me, showing you my dead mom's necklace that she stole from my grand-grand, and then we used your earthbending to help an old man caught in a mine shaft, who, like a grateful Chilean miner, returned the favor by betraying your ass, and so to rectify my mistake, I intentionally got captured in order to rescue you? No, I don't remember any of that, because none of that happened. None of it? Even the sappy stuff I said about my mom's necklace, and how her death has produced a profound effect on me and my view of the world? What about how the criminal justice system processed me really fast? No! My mom called your bluff, and in response, you cussed her out and burned our house down! No, I didn't, you frickin' nut job! I didn't burn it down because it's still on fire! Isn't it ironic that a waterbender lit my house on fire? It's not ironic that I'm dying. Hello? I will not apologize for art. If I wanted to be criticized today, I would have asked for it, Hugo. My name is Haru. Whatever. It's not my fault you're so uninteresting I can't remember your name. So what's wrong with this prison anyway? It's all so generic I get headaches from pure mediocrity. It's like the Fallout 4 of prison. <sighs> this is a privately run, open concept prison, built to contain people like my dad. People who don't fit into society anymore. You mean earthbenders? Well... Not exactly. Hello there, Haru! It's me, your dad, Tyro. Have you caught up on the newest season of our favorite nondescript HGTV television show? I'd watch it on Netflix, but I always forget our password. And guess what, son? It's Monopoly Night! You and your ethnic lady friend can join my prison gang! Where are the pen pals? Oh my god. This isn't a prison for ordinary people. This is... a prison... For boring people. Boring, boring people. people. boring people. Boring people. Boring people. Boring people? I don't understand. Trust me, Aang. You don't want to know. And I don't know. Needless to say, Katara's in a hell of her own making. I am in a hell of my own making! Oh my, you must be the arsonist everyone's talking about. <laughs> we still haven't contained that fire. So what did you want to see me about? Are you making friends? I know life inside the system can be rough. You don't get it. I don't belong here. I belong here. Shut up, Debra. I don't belong in a place full of these boring nutjobs. I demand to be sent to a prison for sane people. 
Sorry, miss, but you being here fulfills our diversity quota, which grants us several federal tax breaks. We can't send you to the Boiling Rock for another couple seasons. And by that, I mean like five months, not anything like television. Aw, oh, come on! My phone died and I have no idea how to emotionally deal with that! If you're not gonna send me away, then I guess I'll just have to stage a prison riot to overthrow you. Okay, well, it was nice talking to you, miss. Have a nice, diverse day. Dang, 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 time's up, folks! As much as I believe you people deserve to be here, the warden must be locked up as well. So as your token person of color, I demand we come together as a community and set his house on fire! If you're a person of color, then how come you sound white? Oh my god, Dennis, you can't just ask people why they sound white. Katara, the warden's actually really nice. He doesn't take any breaks or holidays. I actually think he's pretty lonely because he's so dedicated to us. I feel so bad for his family. Damn it, listen to yourselves. Normal people aren't this nice. How'd you all get in here anyways? For me, it was solicitation. Loitering in this prison. My village tried to purge me. Unpaid parking ticket. Paid parking ticket. I've been institutionalized. You freaks can't be serious. If you join the pen pals for Monopoly night, I'll let you be the shoe. I'd rather drown myself. Sorry, but the boat's already spoken for. Right, Haru? Face it, Katara. You won't change any hearts unless you start being nice to them. I can't do that, and you know it, Harambe! Aw, oh, come on! So, Katara, how are you taking to prison life? If I have to watch those pen pals re-explain the rules every time they pass go one more time, I'm gonna shiv someone! Sorry, sis. I hate to be the token bearer of bad news, but you did kind of get yourself into this situation. Yeah, if you want out of here, Haru's gotta come with you. But he's not leaving! The freak's happy to be with his own kind! This is why you have no friends! I don't need a reminder, scum! Hey, Yang, we're friends, right? <sighs> it's stuff like this that makes me hesitant to help you. It's just like when Boomy made me choose between you guys and that box. Now, Aang, before you begin your next trial, you must make a choice. Choose between your friends to continue the challenges, or leave with whatever is in this fancy box. Oh my god, this is so stupid. Choose the box, Aang! Choose the box! Sokka! With us, you know what you're gonna get, but the box is only limited by its size! Sokka, this is your life we're talking about. You haven't known us for that long, Aang. If we died, you'd be sad for a week, but I'll be sad for a lifetime if I don't know what's in that box! The fact that it took you 20 minutes to decide pisses me off beyond all reason. But we never did find out what was in that box. Somewhere out there beneath the pale moonlight. Shut up, Sokka. You know what, Katara? You want to leave? Fine. All you got to do is say something nice to your brother. What? Say something nice to Sokka or this prison sentence continues. You have beautiful eyes when they're crumpled on the floor as part of a corpse. So we're saving these people, aren't we, Aang? Yep, your sister just decided for us. Gah, fine! I guess we're not friends then! We're not! Why the hell didn't I choose the box? Too soon! Which was it, a buffalo or a bison? I'm not sure what the difference is, but that's not really the point, is it, sir? Oh, decide what the point is, fool! I guess you've just become my fall oh! guy! Good pun, sir! You! Wake up the captain! Search the entire rig! But, sir... What? That was the captain you just threw overboard. He just started today after leaving his job working for our exiled prince. I quit when he almost got me killed in a purge! Again! Oh my, I need to work out my anger in a more productive manner. Is this how you all see me? My god, is this how my family sees me? Still in the water, sir. So, how is this going to work again? I don't know, it's your plan. Oh yeah, Aang's closing off all the vents except for one. So when he does his air bending, the coal only has one place to... Oh, crap on a biscuit. What's going on? I spend one hour on the phone with my wife and suddenly we have another colorful ethnic? <laughs> Greetings, dear countrymen. Tis I, the Avatar, ready to save the day. Dude. Three colorful ethnics? 
Shit! For the record, I am not in blackface. This was a mistake. Here's your chance, Earthbenders. Take it. Your own fate is in your hands. <coughs> Why won't you freaks listen to me? To be fair, you are here for committing arson, so you're kind of sending us mixed messages right now. Kind of presumptuous, you think we're all Earthbenders. I mean, we all are, but that's not the point. Also, you're kind of mean to us, so... Yeah, take that as you will. Get off of that coal, young lady. You might trip or catch a miner's lung. I could get sued for negligence. Still in the water, sir. Not now, Captain. I'm busy. Shut up. You're not my real dad, who coincidentally never did that much either. I don't have time for this. Miss Katara, I'm sorry that you have no friends, but... Whoa, buddy. You can't talk to my sister like that. Why not? She literally said the same thing to me. She literally talks to everyone like that. I'm just saying. No, he's right, Sokka. I don't have friends. So what if people don't like me? People suck. Friends are all the ones who always promise to be there, but they're all liars. And then it's either they leave you or you leave first. Like Suki. Or Boomy. Or my parents. Sis. The moment you let them in and give them any fraction of a chance, that's the moment you give them express permission to kick your heart in the dick. That's your just reward for being stupid enough to care about someone else. Katara. For what it's worth, even if we aren't friends, you seem like a nice guy who doesn't deserve this. I'm sorry, Haru. God damn it. My god, another breakthrough! Captain, Kevin, you've done it again! Ah! Haru, what the hell are you doing? I know how you feel, Katara. Losing people sucks, but that doesn't mean you just give up on everyone. You might be the monster who burned down my house, put me in prison, and murdered my mother, but you're also the one who got me in the pen pals, reunited me with my dad, and murdered my mother. So, in a way, I'm glad you burned down my house. Oh my god, god he's, he's been, been institutionalized. institutionalized. Shh, I, I want to hear, hear where this goes. goes. So don't mind me. I'm just being a good friend. Wow. Nobody's ever... Thank you, Haru. Aw, that's nice. Gee, son, all you have to say is I don't like Monopoly Night. Whatever, I guess this is now a thing. Hey, everyone, riot! Dyro, we can talk about this. Sorry, Warden, but I guess you've just become my fall guy. Dramatic irony! Sir, are you okay? They think he's dead! Why have you done this to me again, Katara? Why did we stand here and watch these people be punished for no discernible reason? I don't know what you're talking about, Aang. We don't know what we saw. Sokka, we can't just keep quiet about this. Can't keep quiet about what? We have nothing to keep quiet about. The warden's body is floating. There's salt in the water. Upside down! I'd go with you guys, but I don't want to. Aw. I'm really rubbing off on you, Haru. I'm glad I burned down your house, too. Sorry, Tyro. Your wife is probably dead by now. Ah, it happens. Sis, we're leaving. I don't want any of them touching my nuts. Okay, bro. <sighs> Aang, she's never called me that before. Don't cry, Sokka. Save the tears for your dream journal. I guess we'll see each other again sometime. Hopefully not in prison. Funny guy. I'll see you again in a couple seasons. And by that I mean, well, shit. What's wrong? I lost my mom's necklace. Better not tell Sokka or he'll freak out. You did what? Jeez, Kevin, I'm sorry the new job here didn't work out. Poor Warren here was actually an old buddy of mine. S super nice guy, sweet family. Wait till I tell my pal Boomy about this. It'll totally ruin his birthday. It's okay. We had a good run, but I'll make do with you guys. That's the spirit. Hey Zuko, what'd you find? Uncle, I think this ship has just set sail. We're not on a ship, dumbass. I know, it's a metaphor. We're not on a metaphor either. Ah, god damn it!